Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to take a look at the seven pens and the inks that I'm going to be using during February of 2021. We'll briefly look at them, we'll have a little discussion and then we'll move on to the next one. So join me now down on the mat and we'll start going through these pens and inks. So let's jump in. The first pen for February of 2021 is this one. This is a Moonman M600S. This is in the blue color. I mean, it's a beautiful, gorgeous color. Just look at that chatoyne see as we go around. Look at the colors. It really does pop. Now in here, the ink I've chosen is a Robert Oster ink and it's Great Southern Ocean. I mean, when I look at them together, it's a brilliant match, it really is. Really looks well together. So let's just do a quick writing sample. So the pen is Moon Man M600S. It's got a medium nib. Could be a fine nib. I think it looks more medium. It's hard to tell because they don't stamp the nib details on the pens. The ink, as I said, it's Robert Hoster. Great Southern Ocean. It really is a lovely ink. It looks so nice on this. So let's just do a test of our wetness. So we'll go for an immediate, you know, really, really wet. I'm gonna leave it 10 seconds. Still got quite a lot of wetness in there. We'll go for 30 seconds. Yep, still a little bit of wetness. So what we'll do, we'll now leave it for one minute. And after a minute, yeah, that's dry. So this is the Moon Man M600S with the Robert Oster Great Southern Ocean. My next pen, making a return after a few months of sitting in the drawer, is this one. This is a Hongdian 525. Now, the nib on this, it's a fine nib, but it's a bent nib. I don't know if you can see the bend on the video. There's just a slight little bend to it there, which does change the way it writes a little bit. So this is one of the things I want to play around with this month is writing with this nib in different positions to see what I can get from it. The ink in here, well, I've gone for quite a light colored ink this time. It's by Colorverse and it's called Albert. To me, this is like a liney color. It's really nice and bright. I'm not sure how well it's going to get on in the pen. I think it's it's a nice one to experiment with. You know, I do like the pen, I do like the ink, and hopefully together they'll come up with something marvelous. So the pen here, this is the Hongdian. five two five and that's got that fine bent nib the ink is colorverse albert it's a really unusual name for an ink isn't it let's do our wetness check so we start with a media yeah we expect that to be fairly wet anyway because it's straight down on the paper i'm gonna leave for 10 seconds 30 seconds. Almost dry after 30 seconds. Finally, one minute. So there we are after a minute. Again, this one's nice and dry. So here we have the Hongdian 525 with that fine bent nib filled with Colorverse Albert. So the next pen is a Pilot. The Pilot Custom Heritage 92. So the nib on this is a medium nib. It's also a gold nib. So it's an interesting combination of gold on this pen and steel on most of the other ones. There is another gold nibbed pen this month, but we'll get to that one shortly. The ink that I've picked this time is by Van Diemen and it's called Azure Kingfisher. Beautiful, like turquoisey, I would say, color. Now, one of the things with this, you can't really see it on here. 
uh, this is done on rhodia paper. It doesn't come through. But this has got a gold sheen to it. So I'm interested to see how the sheen goes during the month using this pen, which has, uh, as I say, that medium nib. So here we have the Pilot. Custom Heritage. 92 with the medium nib. The ink, Van Diemen. Azure Kingfisher. Let's test our wetness. So straight away, really wet. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Still massively wet. So now we're going to leave it for one minute. After a minute, there's still some wetness on there. I mean, it's quite surprising that after a minute, that's, that's still there. You'd have thought it would have been at least more, mostly dry. Now let's have a quick look at this, see if we can see any sheen coming through here on this optic white paper from Oxford. I can't see anything at the moment. There might be a little bit of gold coming through on that U, but really nothing is jumping out at the moment. But I am under LED light, so that could be affecting it. Let's just position this back. Let's move that up there so we've got ready for the next ones. So here we have that pilot, Custom Heritage 92, with Van Diemen's Azure Kingfisher. Pen number four, our midway pen, is this. So this is by Sailor. This is a Sailor 1911 Junior. So what that means is it's not a gold nib, it comes with a steel nib. So it's still the size of the 1911. The nib is medium fine, as I say, it's steel. So it's going to be interesting to compare this with some of the other Japanese pens that I've got this month. The ink in here is by Robert Oster and it's called Cafe Crema. Beautiful brown ink, writes really well in the other pens I've used this with. I've never tried it in this pen before, so it's going to be an interesting experiment. Just look at the brown. It's just like the, the color of coffee. I mean, it really is nice. So here we have the Sailor Nineteen Eleven Junior with a medium fine nib. The ink is by Robert Oster, and it's Cafe Crema. I mean, I can see by looking at this already, it's a lot finer than a lot of the other pens that I've used this ink in. So I'm not sure how well this will actually go. It's going to be really interesting. Let's test our wetness. So here we go with immediate. Virtually dry already. Let's go for 10 seconds. You know, after 10 seconds, it's dry. I'm not even going to do any, any further. You know, this is... I don't know if it's because of the fineness of the nib. Could be to do with the ink as well, because I've found some Robert Oster inks are fairly dry. But anyway, here we have the 1911 Junior. Now, one of the things you may have noticed when I was writing, I have to post this. This pen is really, really short. You know, in my hand, I cannot use this unposted. I have to post it. Fortunately, it posts quite well. And posted, again, it's a nice pen to write with. So that's something worth bearing in mind. Yes, it looks like it could be fast drying, but if you've got large hands, it may be a problem for you. My fifth pen for the month is another Japanese pen. This time it's from Platinum. This is the Platinum 3776 Century in Burgoyne. Again, beautiful colouring. This one, it's a gold nib again. So I've got two gold nibs to try out this month and compare against each other, as well as that steel Japanese nib. It's going to be quite an interesting showdown looking at the three of them. The ink I've put in here is by Colorverse and it's called Hubble Zoom. You know, when I look at the pen with this, 
it looks so nice. You know, the color really seems to match the, the coloring of the pen. So I think this is a really good match in that term. But let's just check it. So what we have here is we have a platinum. 3776. Century. And it's a medium nib. Now, one of the things I think I may have already called out in some other reviews of this, just look at the thickness of this line with the thickness of the pilots. They're both Japanese pens. They're both gold nibs. They're both medium nibs. But you can already see there's quite a big difference. The ink, so it's Colorverse. Hubble Zoom. Gorgeous colour. I really like the colour of this ink. Let's check our wetness. So there's immediate. So again, it's not overly wet. Let's go for 10 seconds. Still a little bit of wetness there, but it's virtually dry. We'll leave it now for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, that's dry. So this is the Platinum. 3776 Century and Colorverse Hubble Zoom. Our next pen, well, this is a monster of a pen. It's by Jinhao and it's the Jinhao 159. Now, yes, I know you could say this is a copy of a certain well known pen. I've got it in silver, it doesn't look anything like it, you know. It's a nice pen. What do we look for in a pen? We look for something we enjoy using that lets us get the thoughts out of our head and onto paper. The ink that I've chosen for this. It's my colour verse. It's called Sea of Tranquility, so it's a nice green ink. I love my green ink, so surprise, surprise, here's green ink number two for the month. This is a different green than the Albert. Yes, they're the same manufacturer, but just look at the differences in colours. If we take a quick look at the nib on this before I do my writing, you know, it's a nice big sized nib. It's a medium nib, so hopefully it'll be nice and wet, certainly compared to the fine of this Hong Dian. So here we go with our Jin Hao 159 with a medium nib. The ink, I say, is Colorverse Sea of Tranquility. I love the naming of Colorverse inks. And this, this is a really nice dark green ink. Let's check for wetness. So here we go, immediate. You know, it really looks nice and wet. Let's go for 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Then we'll go for one minute. And after a minute, well, it's still got some wetness to it. So again, I don't know if this is a result of the ink, of the nib, or the combination of the two, but it's something I'll be exploring during the month. So here we are, the Jinhao 159. I love this pen. I've only had it a few weeks. I've never done any real serious writing with it, which is one of the things I'm looking forward to doing this month. It's a nice big pen. I mean, look at the size of that in the hand. You know, does it post? Not very well, but it doesn't matter because it's got the heft that I like. It's nice and wide to grip as well, so I'm hoping that that's going to be comfortable to grip. Really looking forward to trying out this pen. So my final pen for the month. Well, where would a pens in use go without having a Moonman M800? So this month, I'm sticking with the amber one. I had the amber one in last month's rotation as well. This is a Moonman M800, but this one, it has a Bok nib. So it's a fine nib and it's made by Bok. It's not made by Moonman. It's a, a little bit more expensive pen because you have to pay for that Bok nib, which is a shame because I don't really see the need to pay any more for it, but that's Moonman's business model. The ink I've got in here, it's a Colorverse ink. It's called Martian. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. You might have heard me say this. I love the naming of the Colorverse inks. I mean, especially like, you know, you've got Martian, Sea of Tranquility, Albert, I mean, there's some gorgeous names to them, really are. So this one, this is like an orangey brown. If I look at it here though, the amber tones, 
in the pen. You know, this is virtually an amber ink. So I think this is going to be a good match. So here we go with the Moon Man. M800. A for amber. With the Bok Fine Nib. The ink. So this is interesting. The pen uh, really stalled on me then. So the ink is by Colorverse. And it's called Martian. So again, it was getting a little bit stabbed with ink then. Now, whether that's because when I was talking, I left the nib uncapped, I don't know. It's going to be something for me to experiment with and check as the month goes on. Our wetness and dry times, so immediate, 10 seconds. Already looks virtually dry. 30 seconds. And at 30 seconds, well, it's dry, so it's pointless doing it for a minute. Similar to the Colorverse Hubble Zoom in terms of its drying, but so different from the Albert and the Sea of Tranquility, which seem to be a lot wetter. So I think this is going to be an interesting experiment throughout the month. So let me clear all this off and then I'll fetch in the seven pens I'm going to be using this month. We start with the Moon Man M600S with Robert Oster, Great Southern Ocean. A Hong Dian. 525 with Colorverse Albert. A pilot, Custom Heritage 92 with Van Diemen's Azure Kingfisher. A sailor, 1911 Junior with Robert Oster Cafe Crema. A platinum, 3776 Century with Colorverse Hubble Zoom. A Jinhao, 159 with Colorverse Sea of Tranquility. And then finally, the Moon Man M800 with the Bok Nib and Colorverse Martian. So this is the seven pens that I'm going to be using during the month of February of 2021. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do you have any of these pens or inks? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you have any inks that it might be worth me trying in these pens again? drop a comment below. I'd love to kickstart the conversation. Please, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button, give it a like. The more people that like and comment on my videos, well, it helps the YouTube algorithm to surface my content. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.